So welcome to revision of mathematics. Today we are going to look at uh, 2017 KCSE mathematics paper two, question number 17, which is about uh, income tax. So every employee is supposed to pay tax to the government to cater for the public facilities. And uh, here we are given a question. Uh, the table that we have here shows a rate at which one is taxed. What it means is that uh, the first bracket is from zero uh, to 9,680 shillings for uh, you are charged 10% of that amount. Uh, it goes up to 37,041 uh, and above charge at 30 shillings percent. 30 percent. So here we are given Shaka's monthly income. We are get told this has a basic uh, a basic uh, salary of twenty eight thousand six hundred, house allowance of fifteen thousand, uh, medical allowance of three thousand two hundred, and transport allowance, uh, which is five hundred and forty. We are also told that he is entitled to one thousand and fifty six shillings as monthly tax relief. So we are supposed to calculate the tax charged on Shaka's monthly uh, earning uh, and then part B, apart from income, the following deductions were made, uh, health insurance fund of 500, education insurance of 1200 and 2% 2 of basic salary for window and children pension, calculate the Shaka's monthly net income from his employment. So the first thing we do is to get the taxable income. The taxable income is a total of what he's getting. So we are going to add 28,600. We add to 15,000. We also uh, uh, add uh, 3,200. And we also add 540. So the total of this will give you uh, the income that is taxable is 47,340 using your calculator. Now from there, uh, we now get the tax that uh, you, uh, will be, you'll be taxed by the government. So the first bracket is 10%. So we are going to say 9,680. Nine 10% of this we can calculate here it is uh, 9680 multiplied by 0 0.1 and that uh, that will give you uh, 968 so here it means the first bracket you will be paying uh, 968 shillings 10% of that then to get the second bracket uh, we are going to subtract uh, 18, 18,800. We subtract uh, 9680. That is uh, this one. We subtract this from that. So when you subtract that, you should get uh, uh, this should give you zero. Uh, that should give you two. Uh, then we have uh, one. And then we have 9. So the second bracket is 91, 91, 20. Now, remember, we need to subtract uh, again. Here we have 47. We have the total taxable income is 47, uh, uh, 340. So we subtract the first bracket, which is 96, 80. Uh, and when you subtract that, you get uh, this is zero, uh, this is six, uh, this is uh, six, uh, this is uh, seven, and this is 37. Uh, here, we are supposed to, uh, the percentage here is 15%. Uh, 15% 15 of 9120, uh, you get using your calculator, you get it is 1368. Uh, 1368. We, we then subtract this amount from our taxable income, so we get 99120. So we subtract, we get uh, this is 0, 
we get 0 we get uh, this is 4 we get this is 5 we get uh, this is 8 so, and we have 20 the third bracket we have dealt with the second the third bracket it is charged at uh, 20 percent and when you subtract uh, 27 920 you subtract 18 1800 you get 9120 so the second the, 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 the other bracket is 9120 uh, if you get 20 percent of 9120 you get 1824 so that is the tax we subtract 1920 again from 28 9120 from 28 540 we get 0 this is 2 uh, this is 4 uh, then we have this is 9 then we have this is 1 so we again move to the third one this other one uh, which is 25% uh, so 9120 25% of that is uh, 2280 2280 you can use your calculator to calculate that 24 20 25 percent of 9120 we subtract 9120 from uh, our taxable income 20 uh, we'll get uh, this is uh, we'll get uh, this is a zero this is a, a zero this is three this is zero and that is one so we are left with uh, 1020 we are told anything above that so the, the what is remaining is charged at uh, 30 percent so we come here and say 10 300 charged at 30 percent of that you get it is equals to uh, 3090 so we now put the line there and we total this. When you total this using a calculator, you get it is uh, this is zero, uh, this is three, this is five, and this is nine. So he's is to be taxed nine thousand five hundred and thirty. So we subtract the relief. He's entitled to a relief of uh, ten fifty six. So we say rest relief of ten. 56. So when you subtract the tax uh, that uh, the relief you get uh, this is uh, 4 this is 7 this is 4 and this is 8 so he's supposed to pay a tax of 8,474 and that is what we are supposed to answer in part A of the question Let's go to part B of this question and see what we are supposed to do. So part B of the question, we are told, apart from the income tax, the following deductions were made. So 500 was deducted for health insurance, uh, education insurance of 1,200 and 2% 2 of, uh, of the basic salary uh, for the Windows Student Pensions uh, Scheme. So we are required to find the amount that he earns at the end of the month. So, so what we need to do here is we say we total up these deductions. So we have 500 and uh, we have 1200 and we have 572. 572 that is 2% of uh, 28. You get it is 572. So you find that uh, this when you total this, this is 2, uh, this is 7, uh, this is 2. And this is two. So other deductions that have been made uh, from his salary is two thousand two hundred and seventy-two, and he is paying a tax of eighty-four. So we add uh, eighty-four seventy-four. We get the amount that is to be deducted. So this is uh, we get this is six. Uh, we are adding this is six. Uh, this is four. Uh, this is seven. This is zero and this is ten. So ten thousand seven hundred and forty-six is deducted from his salary, and we saw that uh, his uh, total earning is forty-seven thousand three hundred and forty. So we subtract from forty-seven 
340, we subtract uh, 10,746. Uh, so when you subtract that, this you get it is 4. Uh, we get 9. Uh, we get uh, 5. Uh, we get uh, 6. And here we get 3. So this is the amount of money that you will be taking home at the end of the month. And that is how you work out that you earn yourself 10 marks.